And new tonight, while he calls what happened last weekend unfortunate, a researcher at the University of Alabama reminding us all that shark attacks are rare. In fact, he says we've actually seen fewer attacks so far this year. Lauren Hartson on your side tonight with what you need to know if you plan to head to the beach this summer. That's right, Brittany. We must all remember that the ocean is a shark's habitat. So when we enter the water, we are in their world. Florida averages the most shark bites in the US, but most attacks actually happen on the Atlantic coast. Researcher Gavin Naylor says sharks aren't searching for humans to bite. They only come near the shore when they're following food. He says sandbars especially create a nice habitat for their bait. A warning sign that you need to look out for fish jumping out of the water. He says that usually happens when something is chasing them. So does all of this mean you should cancel your beach plans? Naylor says not necessary and you'll have more of a chance actually getting hurt on your drive down to your vacation than actually in the ocean. What people should do is watch how they drive when they go to the beach because people are always having fender benders and look in your rear view mirror and all these other things. I think there's there's many more things people need to worry about before they worry about sharks. So go to the ocean, listen to beach safety people, do what the lifeguards say, get out of the water when they say it's not safe to swim and enjoy it when it is safe. Last year, there were 69 unprovoked shark bites worldwide. 36 of those happened in the U.S. with 16 off Florida's beaches. Brittany. Oh, thanks.